Cool. Oh, hello. I'm Daniel Gang. Uh, this is our paper, Motion Prompting. Uh, so the whole idea behind this paper is we want to do motion condition video generation, right? There's a lot of like text condition video generation models, but what can we do with motion conditioning? Um, and this is like actually a pretty like well studied area. There's a lot of prior work and they do lots of different kinds of motion conditioning, right? They do like bounding box control, they do like camera control, sparse trajectories, region based motion. Um, but the thing is like all of these methods, they work for very specific kinds of motion, right? And what we wondered was, can we train a model to be conditioned on like general kinds of motion, right? Can we do like any kind of motion uh, that you can think of with just a single model, right? And so that's essentially what we do. Um, our architecture, our approach is like pretty simple. Uh, all we're doing is we're taking a base, a unit diffusion model, and we are fine tuning it with a control net uh, where we're feeding in the first frame of the video and point tracks, right? Essentially, given a point in the first frame, what is the motion of that point throughout that video? Uh, and then we fine tune it to generate a video that starts at that first frame and follows that motion, right? And we have this like kind of fancy way to encode these point tracks into a representation that the control net can take, right? Uh, but I think the, mo the more interesting thing is once we have this motion condition, like general motion condition video generation model, uh, what can we do with this model, right? And so, as you might imagine, it's like pretty difficult to get somebody to draw point tracks, uh, especially for like very, very dense uh, motion, right? And so we come up with this like, this idea of motion prompting, which is at a high level, it's basically taking the user intent and translating that into point trajectories that we can then feed to our model, right? So um, unfortunately, video frames don't really come across well on posters. So I guess I can like show some examples right here. Um, this is like a very simple example of motion prompting. So the idea is you take like, you take user inputs in the form of mouse drags and clicks, and you convert that into point tracks by just copying and pasting tracks and following exactly the motion of the mouse. Uh, and then you feed that to the model and you can control the motion of a generated video. And so the cool thing is that you can like control the motion of this specific location, right, where the mouse is touching, but you can, the model is like smart enough to infer the motion and behavior of like other parts of the video, right? Um, so we do like this sort of like sparse motion control, but we show like a lot of other capabilities, for example, you can do like camera control, you can do camera and object control, you do motion transfer, motion magnification. And so, yeah, I guess in conclusion, you know, we train a model on very general kinds of motion and it turns out you can do lots of different things with that model. And it's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about it.